So I'm here with a Apadaya and I've got a couple questions about their upcoming title fight. I guess the first thing I want to know is why is it that you seem to have it out for Mike Boomer specifically? I don't think it's that we have anything out for him at all, bro. I think it's that... I don't have anything out for anyone. He's... He's the he was the wrong guy in the wrong place at the wrong time, bro. And he was what needed to be squashed, like the bug he is, for us to get where we need to go. Yeah, he 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 wanted to come in with like some sort of like mission to show who he was, and he thought he could overstep us, and he was in the way, and we took him out, and that's it. Simple, you know, I, I, you know what? That that actually wasn't even anything personal. It's business, bro. It's, business. it's always business, bro. Yeah. People try to make it sound like we're these animals that just want to inflict pain upon people, but they forget that they're in the wrestling business, so they're in the fighting business, and uh, you have to get your hands dirty sometimes. And that's simply what happened with Mike Boomer. There's no personal vendetta against the guy. Nothing, it's business. And then of course there's Zach Sabbath, who is a little bit different to Boomer, has a bit of a different mentality. Do your opinions on Zach reflect your same opinions on Boomer? I'm just going to cut you off right there and point out that you've asked about both of these guys individually and that's telling to me because you're clearly showing that these guys are two individuals who are masquerading as a tag team right. when you've got two guys here that are in the same syllable. We are family. We are blood. When you ask about Gabriel Eros and Eli Theseus, you ask about the butt out. You're asking individually about Mike Boomer and Zach Sabbath. So how do two single guys stand a chance in a fight against two guys that are together forever and always, bro? What are you going to do then? Okay. So these guys have actually been in a tag team for apparently over 10 years. Right. When? You know, spanning multiple when? promotions. Who have they fought? When? Uh, who, have they fought? Uh, who have they fought? Who have, who have, who have they fought? If you, when? Do, you, do you know anyone they fought? Do you know anyone that they've done of anything of relevance? What was the last? What was the last tag team match that they won? Who did they beat? Ah, uh, no, I think I think it was it was it was Toro Toro and Nick. Toro and Nick. Where's he gone? Where's he? Where's he? He's gone sprinting. He's sprinting. Bro. He's gone. Where is he? I haven't heard from him for ages. Yeah. So oh, exactly, man. what Toro and Nick Armstrong? That bro, like this, we are on another level to these people, man. We are. We are the Barea. We are the tag team champions. We're not pretending to be a tag team. We are a tag team. No one does it better than us. Through those ropes. Whether it's in the ring or in the street, I say it every time, you're dead. And it's no different. Saturday, December 18th, Battle for Supremacy against the so-called Kings. How are they the Kings? Kings of what? Ruin. Ruining what? Their own careers? What? What are they ruining? Come on, bro. You guys are a tag team, a very successful one, obviously, but you're also, in your own words, a family. This family went from four people down to three. Tyler Daniels is no longer a part of the family. Can you please elaborate just a little bit on that? I've said everything I have to say about Tyler Daniels. I told you on the last show, he's dead, he's gone. Thanks to us, you don't have to see that little rat right. again. He was a good soldier, but unfortunately, as the old saying goes, history remembers kings, not soldiers. And Tyler Daniels was simply a soldier. He played his role and now he's gone. And that's all you need to know about that. Nothing. What's there to say, bro? Go ask him. Go ask him. I'm sure he'll have the ability to answer your questions. What does family mean to the Padaya? Bro, as generic as this sounds, bro, family is everything. Without each other, we wouldn't be where we are right now. Sitting in front of you, bro, we're at the top of the game. The top of the whole wrestling industry, bro, because of each other. Bro, there are other people masquerading around Australia, around the world, pretending to be tag teams. Bro, they'll turn on each other in an instant. We've been together through thick and thin, bro. Five years straight We now. share blood, man. We might not have the same mother, but we share blood, bro. And we'll kill for one another. And if you cross our paths, if you even touch or look at him the wrong way, you're dead, bro. I'll kill for him and he'll kill for me, and I know that. And there aren't a lot of people out there that'll do that, bro. We've grown up tight. We've been raised correctly, not in the trash like everyone else has. And that's why we are the kings of this world. What is your game plan going into this fight? It's the same as every fight, my friend. We go out there, we use our unison, we use being the best tag team in the world to put our opponents away, bro. It's really that simple. Obviously, man, these guys are dangerous guys. Yeah. Individually, they've accomplished a lot. Yeah. Zach Savage, you might RCW think, champion, come it. on, bro. You might think that we haven't done our homework on our we opponents have, and man. that we're not taking them seriously, right? You think that we're just these animals, these barbarians, these, these idiots that, that go out there and, and just want to put harm on people, but we are very calculated 
experienced veterans of the game, professional train, wrestlers. We train Anyone. our asses Dogs, off, bro. right? We take this seriously, yeah? So we're not overlooking these guys. We're looking, we're not looking past them. We're looking through them. And that's exactly what's gonna happen. It's a high profile fight. We're going out there. We know that these guys have got the experience on us, but they don't stand a chance. Simple. Do you have anything you want to specifically say to Kings of Ruin? You're messing with the wrong guys, my friends. You're getting yourself into something you can't get yourself out of. You've committed to this fight now. You've committed to this fight. And now you're going to pay. We Bring your best. Bro, bro, you guys grew up in the slums, what, the northern suburbs, the absolute trash of society, bro. Yeah. You Look where we've come. Trash. You were raised as trash, and now you're going to be nothing but trash as soon as this fight is over. We are upper class, the best of the best. We are gods, we are the real kings, bro. And we're gonna show you that Saturday oh, night, man. December 18th, Battle for Supremacy. The family the way, reigns supreme. This is our night. Bring your best, boys. You're gonna need it.